I'm going to show you guys these two examples in this video because as you can see, these two questions, they look so similar, right? But the way to factor them are different. Let's focus on the first one. We have to factor out x to the third power minus 64. As usual, we should try to see if there's any common factor that we can factor out. But then since the first term, there's just a 1 in front of the x to the third power. And then for the second term, we just have a 64. There's no x. So we cannot factor out anything. We see that this is two term, right? So that means we can use a factoring formula, and this is the third power, so it's going to be a difference of two cubes. So first we'll look at this as x to the third power, and then for the 64, we're going to think about what times what will give us 64. And the answer for that will be 4. 4 times 4 times 4 will give us 64, that means 4 to the third power will be 64. So as you can see, this is a difference of two cubes. And the way to factor this out is to use the formula. And let me write down the formula right here for you guys. The formula says, if we want to factor out some term A to the third power, minus some other term B to the third power, and technically, they should be in the parentheses, and the A and B are what's inside the parentheses, okay? Well, to factor this out, the result is going to be for the first parentheses, we are just going to have a minus b. And then for the second parentheses, we are going to have a to the second power plus ab plus b to the second power. And this is the formula that we have to remember so we can use it to factor this out. So let's see what can we do with this. This is going to be, as you can see, this will be the a and that will be the b. For the first parentheses, we are going to have x minus 4. x minus 4. Okay, just match the formula. a minus b. And then for the second parentheses, we are going to have, what well it says we have to have a squared, that means the first term and raise that to a second power. So we have x squared. And then we will add the product of a, b. The b is just a 4. The b is not negative 4. b is what's inside of the parentheses. So, the product of a and b is x times 4. That means we have 4x. Okay? And then, for the last term, we are going to have plus b squared. Well, we have 4 for the b. 4 squared is 16. So, we'll add 16 to this. And this is because 4 to the second power. That's how we get that. So, this is it for the first example. This is how we factor out the difference of two cubes. And now let's look at the second example. We have something very similar to that, right? x to the third power minus 64x. But in this case, it's not the same as that because first we can factor out an x. That means we are going to have x on the outside and then parentheses. Originally for the first term, we have x to the third power, but we took one out, so we have x to the second power only. And then this was the second term earlier, but then we factor out this x, so we just have minus 64. So as you can see, we have the x on the outside, and the inside we have x squared minus 64, but then this is actually a difference of two squares, because this is x to the second power. So we'll change this to x times x to the second power, and then minus what times 4 give us 64? 8, right? 8 to the second power. And then to factor this out, we are going to use the difference of two squares. And the formula says if we have a squared minus b squared, this is going to be the first parentheses is a minus b, and the second parentheses is going to be a plus b. So this is how we factor out the difference of two squares. So we have the x on the outside. And then for this one, the x is the a, so we have, we have x, <laughs> and then minus b, which is the 8, and then times x plus 8. And we see that we use this formula for it. And this right here will be the answer for this question. Look at them. They are totally different answers. They have different approaches to factor this out. That's it.